my name is Keaton Slovis. I play quarterback for the USC Trojans, and I just wanted to show you what my life is looking like right now. We're walking to workouts. Beautiful day out, and we're walking with my neighbor, Ben Griffiths, punter from Australia. Social distancing, wearing his mask. Look at this. Just setting the example back there. This is me. <laughs> We're not allowed to work out in here. So, we gotta work out outside. How are you doing physically? Obviously, I know you're recovering and you were excited about where your arm was, but how are you feeling right now physically? Really good, especially in the past, uh, since, you know, I've gotten able to get in the weight room more and more here. Uh, just feel really good with where I'm at, where my weight's at, where my arm's at, uh, throwing a lot. Um, so as, as sad as it is that we've had to miss uh, all this time for, for COVID, you know, it's been a good opportunity for me to kind of get my arm uh, taken care of and get to where I want and also uh, get my body back. It's about 1.30, uh, finished with Spanish class and just got all my workout gear on and we're headed to a two o'clock lift. Got my mask on and we're ready to go. Where were you when you realized how big this thing was and, and what, what was the emotions that you were feeling? I mean, it's something that, you know, unfortunately kind of saw coming from, you know, a bit away with all the restrictions still in place. We knew it wasn't looking good um, with our season kind of being in jeopardy and just to have it, you know, be solidified was really, really tough to see. And, uh, you know, it was, it was kind of weird being at, at lifting. Uh, after the news broke. But, you know, it's really proud of our guys and our team just coming into work and, uh, you know, just trying to control what we can control. And, um, you know, it does, does no good kind of looking back and, you know, feeling sorry for ourselves. We got we got goals and, and aspirations for where we want to be as a team. We got to got to work to achieve those and do our best to, to be ready whenever the next opportunity to play football is. Workout's finished and we got some nice food in here. What we got in here? Some salad. Oh, some spaghetti and meatballs. Nothing quite like little Galen at USC. And then we got breakfast for tomorrow. Also, some eggs, potatoes, and don't forget, some hydration. Where do you feel like your, your leadership was as, as a freshman? And, and does it feel any different now as you come into your second year? Right, as a freshman, you know, I had no, I had no issue, you know, leading people on the field and telling people what to do. and you know, getting our guys ready to go when it was on game day or even out on the practice field. But I think the next step for me is, you know, being that guy all the time. And I think at times last year as a freshman, you know, you don't want to be the big, the main voice in the locker room or you don't feel you're really have earned that role or respect yet. So I think, you know, as a sophomore, as my second year, I think that's the most important thing is just being a more of a prominent voice in the locker room. How do you think that COVID-19 is gonna change your perspective or, I mean, even our generation's perspective as we move forward. Right, and it'll be interesting to see how that actually plays out. But I think for me, I wouldn't say I'm an introvert, but I'm not necessarily someone who's extroverted or loves being around people all the time. So, um, you know, I never thought I'd feel that, but I did, especially, you know, things are starting to open up here a little bit more now. But, you know, when it was in the midst of everything, uh, it was definitely, definitely difficult, you know, not seeing everyone you wanted to see and not being able to hang out with your friends and, you know, just do normal kid stuff. So uh, I think that's the, the thing I've, I've grown a, a bit of a bigger appreciation for, you know, just being social and, and hanging, hanging with other people. Uh, and, you know, that comes with sports too. And like I said earlier, just being in that locker room and being with your friends. My message for the USC Trojans, uh, the USC family, the Trojan family and fans for this season, we know you guys are behind us. Um, and I'm just so excited um, for the next opportunity that we have to play in front of you, whether it be on TV or in the Coliseum uh, with you in the stands. Um, regardless, I'm excited to represent you and have to speak for the rest of the team and we're excited to go out and compete and play on Saturdays.